This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Today we are at Elbilmek. This is a workshop here uh, in Lierskogen. And uh, you know, Elbilmek, it's okay, translated, it's uh, EV uh, garage workshop. So um, I'm gonna show you guys, introduce you guys to Elbilmek. It's, um, I think you, you guys are some partner with Marcus also, right? Marcus, uh uh, Elbil Mek is uh, doing all the repairs for the cars at Marcus Bil Askerem Badum. Yeah. So uh, today I will just show you guys, uh, make a little introduction of this uh, place. So uh, here we have. Uh, well, okay. First, we. Are, sorry, I have Marcus, uh, but I suspect uh, I expect people know Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> but also we have uh, Valdemar, and you are uh, the just you're the owner of Elbil El Mek. Yes, yeah. I am. And uh, okay, I will show you by the way. So here. Uh, we have plenty of space there's yeah you can find it on google and plenty of space for parking and we have some some uh, triplets no, no it's not triplets these, these are think lots of things <laughs> so you are old school ev guy all cars yeah <laughs> all the new ones yeah and then okay so maybe we can walk over to the entrance here for customers who who come here uh how do you guys uh, okay so the customers can deliver car in the evening or in the early morning if they want to. Even when we are not open, they can use the share box and deliver the keys. Oh, what is this share box? Share box. It's a very smart uh, solution. Oh. Ooh. So we can try if you if you want to. Let's see. Enter uh, registration number. Then the phone number. Then we open the box and we can uh, securely leave the key for, for us. Wow, look at this! So you can put the key, <laughs> close it. That is some high-tech Japanese stuff. Well, actually, is this uh, some kind of Norwegian product? Or? Yes, it's Norwegian product. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> and in the same way, the people can come in the evening and uh, pick up the car, whatever they want, 12 or 1 o'clock in the at night, and, and pay together uh, at this uh, unit. That is cool. Okay, anyway, but uh, we came here for the shop. So here uh, you guys see Elbil Mech IS, and that, this is a Mekonomen uh, workshop. So Mekonomen, they have workshops all over Norway, but you guys are specialized in EVs. Let's get inside. It's oh, it's snowing outside. So you were greeted by the, uh, I guess. Oh, you have a, a painting of a Model Three here. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. Hello. So David, he takes uh, the customers in, uh, takes the keys, uh, talks with you uh, regarding the what's wrong with the car, how much it will cost, and uh, all other stuff. Yeah. And then over here, this is for uh, employees only. Here we have the workshop or the repair shop. I think uh, 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 you're driving, uh, Marcus, you're driving the Fiat right now, yeah? right? I hope I'll get, uh, have the range to get back home. <laughs> but this is, a, is it a new one or the old one? Is it the old one? Let me check here. Yeah, this is the old one. Okay, well, anyway, so yeah. Can you say, uh, yeah, what, what is uh, this place then? Uh, this is our uh, laboratorium. <laughs> oh, you guys, oh, you guys have a freaking Toyota. This is, this is when Toyota was great in the glorious day of Toyota. <laughs> RAV4. Does this one have the Tesla drive? No, was this before or after Tesla? Yes, it, have, uh, it has Tesla engine and, um, and the chargers and the, and the motor. All drive. Uh, Linear. You know, it could take a lot of banana boxes. This is when, back in the days when Toyota was great. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding. They are still great today. Yeah, uh, what else? Uh, we do also uh, Tesla battery repairs. Um, and we do all other strange uh, stuff repairs. This is a hobby uh, project, right? This is a hobby project, yes. It's called uh, City L. Uh, the owner, which I bought it from, he claimed that there is uh, just two registered uh, cars like this in Norway. So I'm lucky. I'm one owner of one of them. 
Well, okay, we have, you guys have a, you guys have a freaking Model S battery pack here. Okay, what is going on over here then? Yeah, this battery got uh, water inside. Uh, so one of the modules um, uh, got broken. So at least one of them has to be replaced. You see, it's Ooh, is this uh, out of warranty, yeah. Tesla? Okay. So you know, so they can come to you guys also. Yes, they can. And then uh, I know from EV Hub, EV Hub, they also do this stuff, and you can you can get the repair done for. Uh, 70,000 something nook. Yes, uh, it's approximately the same price here. We, we, we charge a customer about 70, I think 69. This is like... Uh, Six, 69, 420. Fast price. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, uh, and then you also give a uh, warranty, was it? Yes, we give two years warranty for, uh, for the whole pack. Okay. But then, uh, does it mean that you and uh, EV Hub, are you guys competitors or...? No, we don't call us uh, competitors. We are uh, uh, well known with uh, Nasir, so we uh, we share the information and uh, sometimes help each other to, uh -huh. to find a solution and, and, and to repair the cars and the batteries. Cool. But wait, I saw something here. What, what is this? This is a battery pack from uh, Smart ED. It's uh, the car was from 2013. So. Um, here we have one cell which is uh, dead, so we, we will find a way how to take it out of this box, install a new one and, uh, and hopefully uh, get the car on the road again. Cool. What is this cooling loop or what is this? Yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a liquid cooled uh, battery pack. Wow, so it's better than leaf? It is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, what else do you guys have over here? I see there's a, there's a thing over there. Yeah, uh, old school uh, electric car. Oh, wait, wait, oh, I see. I, are you guys doing a range test? <laughs> yes, 1,000 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we will see how fast it even managed. So now we, we repaired the uh, called the PCU power control unit on, uh, on Friday. Uh, this is the called PCU. And um, because those cars are old, we are not able to get uh, new parts. Uh, so we have to uh, or repair the old parts or to find uh, a used part and, uh, and repair the car and we have to do the good test. So at the beginning we test in the, in the, in the workshop because uh, today's uh, driving conditions are not the best. So uh, and, and since the car is not completely finished it's, it's better to, uh, to test it on the, on the lifter. But you guys have plenty of uh, years of experience with these, leaf, uh, these things, right? Yeah. These are old school uh, EVs, by the way. So, uh, yeah, I don't remember when we took in the first uh, Think, uh, but probably in 2013, 14. But it was the old uh, Think, Think Classic, it's called, in 1998 model. This is a newer one, I think it's from, this one is uh, started building them in 2008, but probably this one is 2010 model. And uh, we have experience with those, I think, from maybe 2016, 17, I believe. You know, I noticed something. So this car is over 10 years old, 15 maybe, I don't know how old it is. But there's no rust here because it's just plastic. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about uh, door dings or anything. Or This car obviously doesn't need uh, sentry mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's, uh, actually, I think it's very smart to have a plastic car, as you say, you don't have to worry about the scratches and the, all the bulks and all this stuff. So it's very smart, I think. Hmm. All right, so let me see. Uh, and then you have some uh, Fiat 500 here and some others. Can we also look over here and uh, what do we have here? Yeah. So this is the... You guys have several uh, of these jacks to work on cars. Yeah, we have uh, four mechanics uh, working full-time. Uh, yeah, I think uh, EV200 is came for uh, service, uh, Nissan Leaf for repair, and uh, 500 is also service and EU control. Yeah, so, oh, so you do EU control here also. Yeah. And I see you guys have uh, devices for, this is for checking brake uh, power, right, over here. Yeah. I recognize it from uh, Nasir place, and they have a, is that alignment tool? Yeah. All this uh, equipment is must you have to have if you want to be a Gushant uh, workshop and do oh, the, I see. 
work with the customer's cars and do AU control and all this stuff. And then, yeah, I see it's, it's very nice and clean over here. You almost, uh, it's like you guys have like Tesla factory, uh, you know, you paint it in white and everything. Yeah. <laughs> So we moved here in uh, Lierskogen two years ago, before we were uh, in uh, Asker, Asker Centrum. But uh, we had to move and the place was uh, too small, so the best we could find was uh, here at Lierskogen. So here we have uh, 700 square meters, uh, good parking outside and good place inside, so we can do the good job on the cars and uh, do some interesting projects on the side and have uh, sometimes good fun with working with electric EVs. Okay, and uh, do you guys only have EV customers? I see there's, well, right now, only EVs over here. Yeah, we, we are just electric uh, uh, cars workshop. Uh, we have maybe two, three percent of uh, uh, plug-in hybrids, like uh, Mitsubishi Outlander or uh, others uh, brands, but we say yes, just to the plug-in hybrids. Hmm. This is the, our minimum requirement. Oh, cool. And then I think many people want to know, uh, you and your colleagues, uh, which country are you guys from? We are all from Lithuania. Ah, you, that, that's where the best uh, mechanics are from, right? Yes. <laughs> and, uh, wait, wait, I think also Mantas rap guy, the Mantas guy, I think he also is Lithu Lithuanian. Yeah, sounds Lithuanian. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, so more on this side here. We see, oh, is that, uh, is that warehouse or something or storage or? Yes, uh, this is storage. Part of the storage, we try to keep all the necessary or most used car parts uh, in stock so that uh, very often that the customer, when, uh, when the customer delivers the car in the morning, they are able to pick up in the evening if, wow. if the repair is not too big. And if the repair is too big, we can offer. Um, okay, we take yeah. a look. Uh, what, what do we have here typically? brakes and stuff or what well, i recognize this this is tesla door handle yes <laughs> oh you repair them also yes ah typically how much will it cost to repair them here out of warranty i think it's like 2500 it's like it depends what's wrong with the door handle but uh, this is like average repair price but are these brand new parts or refurbished? No, this is refurbished. Ah, okay. But they actually, it's um, old uh, parts. We use it as for the spare parts. Okay, but w if a customer gets the repair uh, fixer, do they get some warranty on it or? Yes, always uh, we deliver warranty. How long? Uh? We had two years warranty for oh. most of the repairs. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And this uh, most useful uh, Tesla parts, upper control arm for Model S or Model X, uh, of course brakes, uh, front and back. We have some ceramic brakes from, uh, from uh, T-Pro, stabilizators, uh, uh, ball joints and yeah, all oh. other suspension arms. I have to ask you guys, you know Teslas, lots and lots of Teslas nowadays, they get the broken, uh, you know, the, the wheels are... Yeah. You know, uh, what, what part is it that breaks? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I have it here. Yeah. No, we don't oh, have, you don't it, have it. it. It's okay. a lower suspension arm in the, in the back, which uh, often gets broken, yeah. But uh, when that happens, typically on uh, Teslas without warranty, uh, do, do they come here or do they go to Tesla? Or? I, we don't see it uh, very often here. I think that the Tesla is uh, maybe taking it as a warranty, I'm not sure. Oh, it could be uh, on, on the goodwill. Yeah, it could be, because uh, I don't remember i seen a Tesla with a broken lower suspension arm here. Okay, ever. yeah, it, it should be goodwill, because yeah. it, it shouldn't be like that. No. We, we don't see other cars with a broken... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, wait, is that a battery pack? Uh, this is an uh, Outlander bat that battery pack. And there we have a Toyota RAV4 or Tesla battery pack. Uh, this is the part for um, uh, Mitsubishi, Citroën and Peugeot. It's called OBC or... So, yeah. so you guys actually have second-hand parts. Are, refur are they refurbished or...? Those are refurbished, uh, repaired. The suspension parts are always uh, new. Oh, okay, so those are new, but these, these ones refurbished? Yeah, yeah. this is... This is a Nissan Leaf uh, onboard battery charger. But this is also second-hand, not refurbished. I like this idea because it means that it's cheaper for the customer, plus that you are actually doing something for the environment. 
you don't have to buy new parts all the time. Yes. Huh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, I think we have uh, gone through the whole uh, uh, workshop here. Um, so yeah, uh, that was great. What am I? Awesome. The first time I see this, this workshop. So um, I think if you live in, uh, maybe if you live around Lie or, or you know, for, b beyond Drammen, that, that direction, it would actually be shorter for you guys to come here rather than going to uh, um, uh, Nasir. Mm -hmm. And I actually get the impression that maybe Nasir has a lot of customers nowadays. <laughs> but it's, it's good that we just kind of distribute the load and you guys have the knowledge and you guys are actually buddies uh, in a yeah. way. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.